And then this is Taro Iwamoto. I'm a Feldenkrais Christ practitioner and a movement coach. And, um, and this is, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to master Turkish get up. And then this is the part two. And uh, if you haven't watched uh, my first video and how to master the Turkish get up and step by step, then please, uh, please check that video first before you try this one. Okay. And so the second step, uh, so today is the is a continuation from the last uh, video and it's going to do the second part and so the second part is so the first part was bending your leg and the foot is directly under your knee and then pressing the foot to lift your hip and then hold your arm up towards the ceiling and lift your shoulder and in your hip simultaneously to roll onto the side okay and that was the first step and then the second step today's uh, is the second step from here you continue to roll a little bit further okay and I'm going to show you first from here on to here and to here Okay, and this is the step two. So the first, rolling onto the left side and then continue to go a little bit further. And at some point, you do need to lift your head. Okay, so you're going over your left shoulder. And then as long as you can, and this foot is very important because this is stabilizing your leg okay and this provides a stability so if you're starting to let your knee go inward then you lose the ground so be sure to plant your foot and then keep in the knee over your ankle and so that you are providing the support and supporting that weight okay over here all right so now once your weight comes over the left side I'm lifting my head a little bit okay and maybe it is important to mention, it is important to uh, pay attention to the position of your left arm here. And you will know why. Um, if it is too close, and it's not going to work, because next transition is from here and coming up onto your left elbow. Right? So if your left arm is too close to your body and you don't have, you can't um, very efficiently to support your weight, you're gonna have to work a lot harder. So that's not gonna work, right? You have to um, try placing your left arm about 30 to 45 degrees away from your body. And then with the palm down, versus the palm up, you know why, um, as you're coming up onto your elbow, it just, it makes more sense to have your palm down, okay, and so, ideal position um, would be, when you come up here, when you come up onto the left shoulder, you, you want the left elbow be directly underneath your left shoulder, otherwise if it's too far out, you don't have a very good skeletal support. So um, then you have to uh, adjust that. Okay, so if your arm, you start out with your arm too far out, and then you will find that, okay, your elbow is outside of your shoulder, and you don't have a good support underneath. Then you need to bring it a little bit closer to you, and then you try it again, come up onto the elbow, until you can find the perfect place okay and so once you come over this position I'm going to turn this way so you can see here okay now uh, this leg my right leg and then my left shoulder and this is the support this provides these two points provide the support so If you're just hanging onto the left shoulder, you're going to strain your shoulder. 
provided that I don't have any weights right now, so that is okay. But if I'm holding on to the heavy weights, and then you don't really want to hang out here, you want to press your elbow down into the floor and to really just support that shoulder by using the whole shoulder girdle muscles by pressing the elbow into the ground just like you're pressing your foot into the ground to support this hip okay and then the arm your right arm stays right over overhead okay towards the ceiling and pointing towards the ceiling there so you can practice that part okay and my right hip is away from the ground my right hand is directly above my shoulder and my left elbow is directly underneath my left shoulder it makes a nice straight line here right here okay and then I'm just going to reverse that okay lower my elbow okay well actually um, from here and then you're going to come up onto this position so now weight bearing through the hand and then I'm not hanging onto my shoulder like so it's going to strain my shoulder with the heavy weights so pressing the hand and moving my shoulder myself away my torso away from the floor by pressing the hand into the into the floor and then holding my right arm overhead okay like that so that's the second uh, the second step of the Turkish gap okay I'm going to reverse that going down to the elbow onto the side rolling onto the back okay all right so do it again lifting the hip lifting the shoulder rolling onto the side and coming up onto the elbow pressing the elbow into the ground to support the shoulder girdle and then the arm right arm stays overhead and then press into the hands pressing the hands into the ground engaging the shoulder blade muscles to support my shoulder here okay reversing that and now Okay, and that's the uh, step two of the Turkish get up. And there are two more steps. And uh, so, um, and that's it. Um, believe it or not, I'm not using any weights right now, but uh, this, is, um, this is not an easy exercise. And if you really focus in on every single movement and every single transition, and there's so much you need to pay attention to every step and then you will notice that it requires um, stabilization of the shoulder, stabilization of the core um, and stabilization of the hip and more importantly it requires a lot of uh, it requires high motor skill uh, motor control skill which is the, which is the I think the most important benefit of doing this exercise okay um, and that's it and um, oh one more thing I'd like to mention is the when you're doing um, Turkish get up and pay attention on your way back okay not don't just pay attention to transition to that uh, step one and the step two but then reversing back to the starting point is just as important as going in into that step one and step two. So be able to move with the same quality and in going into that direction as you're coming back. Okay, that's it. So take, uh, take your time and practice.
practice and uh, I didn't really mention how many repetitions to perform um, but uh, my suggestion is instead of uh, trying to accomplish specific repetitions uh, focus on the quality of the movements and then do it really well and once you're starting to get tired and your attention quality of the attention is going to go down and the quality of the movement is going to go down so you can't really maintain a good uh, technique you can't maintain a good uh, quality of the movement and then you know it is time to stop okay and uh, so always uh, good quality of the movements it counts if you don't have good quality of the movement then stop and it's probably you're tired, too tired to keep going. And then practice again. So just focus on that. And once you get the quality right, and then uh, let's talk about adding the weights next. All right. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, if you have any questions or the comments, then please, uh, please leave them the comments in the section down below and let me know. And uh, if you like this video, and please uh, like the video. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.